story of the London recruits is a remarkable one. Ordinary young men and women risking their own lives for the freedom of South Africans. A tremendous story, the London recruits, but for many years an untold story, probably a secret only to the recruits themselves. And I'm so proud of Unison's involvement in the project. It was the three unions that made up Unison, Nalgo, Newpee and Cozy, who created Unison in, way back in 1993, who was so involved in the global anti-apartheid movement. It was our unions who were there helping to put money through to the South African unions. It was our union that was um, part of the boycott campaign, ensuring that South African goods were boycotted. And it was our union which was at the forefront of the campaign to free political prisoners. And it was our delegations who went to South Africa to bear witness in the darkest hours, seeing the horrors of apartheid, bringing the stories back to our country so that people could strengthen their resolve to do something about it. And perhaps the finest moment for me as a major part of my work in Unison was when Nelson Mandela came over to London and he personally thanked Unison for all the work that they had done over the years in helping to fight apartheid. It just seems right that Unison, still as an internationalist union, still working with the Southern African trade unions to fight the legacy of apartheid, it just seems so right that we should now be telling the story of the London recruits. Many of these people were active trade unionists. Many of them were part of my own union. John O'Malley, Will G, Ron Bell, all parts of our union that I remember well, along with others, other women who were going to South Africa with money belts tied around their bodies in order to help our sisters and our brothers. And we should not forget the things that we have done as a trade union movement. And I think now as we're moving forward, it's time that we celebrate the London recruits, but also we remember our history. And that gives us, it gives us the confidence, it gives us the inspiration to actually move forward into today's struggles that we now are part of. The tale of the London recruits is a tremendous story. It's long overdue, and I encourage everybody in the trade union movement to get involved in the project. It's tremendous, and it's worthy of our support.